Data exists everywhere and in many different formats, from web pages to printed materials. And as we established before, there's a lot of value that can be found in the right set of data. Here's where data extraction plays a part in unlocking this value. We are Parsub, and today we'll discuss what is data extraction, what it's used for, and how to do it. First, what is data extraction? Data extraction refers to the process of retrieving data from one format into a more useful format for further processing. This is an important distinction to keep in mind as data extraction does not refer to the processing or analysis that might take place after the data itself is extracted. In some scenarios, you might extract similar data sets from two different sources. You would then have to review and process the extractions to make sure they are both formatted equally. Now we'll get into the different types of data sources. There are almost endless ways in which data can be formatted. To keep things simple, we'll look at two of the biggest categories for data sources, digital and physical sources. Digital sources. Digital data is one of the most common sources of data in modern times. This refers to any kind of data that can live on file either online or in devices local storage. This includes more complex data structures such as web pages and databases as well. In many cases, you might want to extract data from a website using web scraping. We have a video explaining what web scraping is, so click in the top right corner if you're interested. Physical sources. Physical data usually exists in print or physical media. In this case, it refers to books, newspapers, reports, spreadsheets, invoices, and many more. Data extraction from physical sources is usually manual and more involved than extraction from digital sources. However, Technologies such as OCR or optical character recognition have come as significant leaps to data extraction from physical sources. Now we'll go over the different types of data structures. The way you would go about extracting data can change drastically depending on the source of data. We'll go over two types of data structures, structured and unstructured. Structured data is usually formatted in a way that fits the needs of your project meaning you don't have to work on or manipulate the data on the source before extracting it. For example, you might be aiming to extract data from the Yellow Pages website with a web scraper. Thankfully, in this scenario, this data is already structured by business name, business website, phone number, and more predetermined data points. Unstructured data refers to data sets that lack basic structure and need to be reviewed or formatted before one data extraction can occur. For example, you might want to extract data from sales notes manually written by sales reps about prospects they have talked to. Each sales rep might have entered sales notes in a different way, which would have to be reviewed before running through a data extraction tool. The different data extraction uses. Data extraction can be used in many different scenarios, the three main cases being for archival, transfer, or analysis. For archival, these cases refer to the use of data extraction to create new copies of the dataset for safekeeping or as backup. A common example is using data extraction to convert data from a physical format to a digital format in order to store with a higher degree of security. For transfer, it is very common for a user to use data extraction in order to transfer one dataset from one format to another without making changes to the data itself. For example, you might want to extract data from the current version of your website onto a newer version of the site that is currently under development. For analysis, the most common use for data extraction is for data analysis. This refers to any insights that can be found from analyzing the data that was extracted. For example, you might extract the prices and product ratings for all the laptop computers on Amazon.com and determine how much do consumers pay in correlation to the ratings of the items. Web data extraction and web scraping. When wanting to extract data from a website, your best bet is to use a web scraper, especially a powerful web scraper that can extract data from all kinds of dynamic websites. If you're planning to use a web scraper, you're probably wondering what is the best web scraper for you. The obvious answer is that it depends. However, we think you should definitely give Parsub a chance. Not only can it be downloaded for free, but it comes with an incredibly powerful suite of features like incredible user interaction, cloud-based scraping, awesome customer support, and more. The download link is in the description. Thank you for watching this video. Check us out at parsehub.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos on web scraping, data, and the internet. Happy scraping.